Hello, just doing a quick video here. Uh, my PV Valve King 112. Uh, just want to get a, a different amp. I uh, want something with a low noise on high gain. And I find that the Valve King here can do that for me. Uh, of course, I looked at the 5150s and 6505, which is the 5150. And uh, there's a few around, but they're all kind of a, you know, minimum 500 bucks for something similar. So the Valve King here, I found one online for about 250. So pretty good deal. A 50 watt tube amp for uh, 250 bucks. It's the older style. It's the Mark One of it. Um, so your loops are on the front and. Uh, there's a few things that are different about it. You can't, um, in the back, you can't uh, switch to 8 ohm. It's uh, 16 ohm only. Uh, but whatever. So I got it and played it for a while. And uh, I'm finding that I like it a lot, but it just doesn't have the big bass. Like, you know, can't compare to a 4x12 or nothing. Like, it doesn't, you know, it sounds good, especially up high off the ground. But it doesn't have the big boom, like uh, the big bass feel, of course, from the 112. A 212 would be more ideal, I think. So, just kind of uh, saw on uh, my Facebook site that there's a speaker up for sale. So, went and I bought it. So, I built a little cabinet for it. It's a 15 inch speaker. Just quickly put together a basic, very basic ca cabinet. Um, just some. You know, scrap wood, literally, from the lumber yard. The guy actually gave it to me. And I found a, an old uh, or used 15-inch speaker out of uh, Fender Excelsior. So it's a 15-inch 8-ohm speaker. <clears throat> and then to get it to work with my 16-ohm only PV Bell King, I'm going to have to go with the 8-ohm, uh, another 8-ohm speaker as well. And I run them in series. So this is a PV Black Widow. And the specs are up there. You might be able to get it with the camera, but I have a photo of it I'll put on later. But anyway, it's a 1201 PV Black Widow 8 ohm. I think it's rated for like 300 watts or something like that. It's just massive. This magnet on this thing is just crazy huge. And it's the replaceable type. So you save your magnet and then you huck the whole. Uh, cone and uh, frame away, uh, basket away, and then you keep your magnet and put it on a new basket. The new basket is about a hundred bucks, so uh, for a hundred bucks get your excellent speaker back again. Anyway, so I have to put these two speakers in series to get back to 16 ohms. Um, you know, one speaker is your 8 ohms if you put these together, so that's half of what you need. So you have to run it uh, from positive, from negative from this speaker out to the Excelsior speaker, positive, from the negative Excelsior speaker up to the, the negative on the speaker. Hang on. So, yeah, so you have to run it in series. So positive to negative, and then positive of the Excelsior back to negative amp input on the from the amp itself. Anyway, so that way it forces the current, the signal to go through both speakers. You can't just jump across one and then jump across the other one, which would actually cut it in half, because it has two routes to get back to, from positive to negative, if you want to think of electricity that way. Right. It actually does flow from negative to positive, but whatever. Anyway, I'll put this in series. And it'll be back to the 16 ohms and hopefully have a lot of bass. Um, I'll just wire that up and get together. Got the tubes out right now. The main tubes go in there and they have a guard on them too that I had to remove to uh, get this guard here goes on. So to get the speaker out, I had to remove the guard and pull the tubes out. So I'll put that all back together and try it out. Uh, looks like I had the tubes replaced. Here's one of them, I won't touch the glass. So that's a good sign, it's been serviced at least. So, 250 bucks, get a 50 watt tube amp. Hopefully I'll be able to build it up, get some uh, real serious sounds out of it. I like the sound as it is, so a little bit more bass would be great. 
and go from there. Thanks, bye bye. So there we have the Black Widow wired up. Okay, so positive out of the amp, the red, comes down to the positive of the Black Widow, the red. Uh, the out or negative of the Black Widow comes down this speaker side, the red striped uh, side of the speaker cable. Which goes to what I'm figuring is the positive of the Excelsior. Excelsior isn't marked. So I'm hoping that's it. If not, I'll have to switch them. Uh, power of the Excelsior comes out of the negative of the Excelsior along the non striped speaker wire. And then up to the non striped up here. And that goes into the black of the. Valve King original amp. Very cheap wiring on here. I'm surprised about that, but it's kind of normal, I guess. Uh, surprised don't put a heavier wire like uh, nowadays. Think they put monster cable and everything. You know, want to make it all monster size. So anyway, I'll put the tubes back in, try it out. Hopefully it doesn't work. If it doesn't work great, I'll try swapping the Excelsior positive negative because I couldn't find anywhere where they're marked on which is which. Uh, it's designed for a single speaker amplifier, so apparently you can have it either way. So this didn't bother marking it. Okay, I'll try to figure that out and then I'll get a quick plain demo.
it on. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah. This is the first time I've touched this guitar in a month.